can you stream two things at once? Yeah, I can. Start streaming. That's what I used to do for Mujin's story. Alright, boom. So E3 is lit. We're live. Boom. Um, now he said the text message. Boom. Copy text. Then go to this right here. Save number. Create contact. Cave out. Save. <coughs> Text them. A whole bunch of shit I do now. Compose. Cave out. Careful you don't get shot. Remove this thing. Send verification code. Boom. Roger. That's done. Uh, I gotta check my, my thing on my phone now, my, my thing on my phone, where's my, where's my stream so I can see what you was saying. Two streams going, Are we lit? Oh, we lit. What's going on? What's going on, back one? Um... Kev said, you started streaming E3? And I was like, oh shit. He said, yeah, bro, I should start a couple minutes. <laughs> He's not playing games. Are we that good right now? Did no one, not a soul, go to Greasy? Yeah, I have a little bit of roll. 999999 would. Mm hmm. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. I love that. I haven't heard that in a long time, boy. <laughs> yeah, I streamed like once at Fortnite in the morning yesterday. Mm. I was like too tired to stream. Anyway, that's what I did. That's really, bro. Yo, last night I went, I went to bed late. I was just writing, bro. Like, Spider Man really inspired me crazy, bro. Like, I'm so ready for our Spider Man to come out now. I posted, I posted, um, our link in the Sony in the Sony uh, Entertainment uh, trailer, the uh, the uh, fucking Spider Man shit that showed last night. They put the trailer up last night. I put that shit on the top, top copy like three, four times. <laughs> like someone's got to see this shit, bro. I mean, I got like twelve new views, but I don't know if it's from like I don't know if it's I don't know where it's from though. It could be anybody. I don't know if it's from that link or not. I'm great, thanks for asking you. Oh, yeah, well, how, yeah, how have you been, Black Black? Well, you've been like, you've been ghosts for me and Papa in a couple of days now. Black One, if you don't have Black Ops Trade, it's on the store for free. Oh, yeah, yeah. free Black One. Black One, definitely go get Black Ops, bro. It's free now, bro. For like a limited time, I think. Oh, yeah. Trevor Saves the Universe by Justin oh, no, Roiland. I don't know about that. It's garbage, bro. <laughs> Let's be realistic. I love Justin. I love Justin Roiland, bro, but... I mean, only wrong. Well, the Rick and Morty simulated shit was fun, but... The VR game was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but Justin Roiland... Yeah, just what you want. Yeah, you're streaming last night, and I put in comments, I was like, I don't know about this, Rick. Yeah, that shit look crazy. The, the Kingdom Hearts stuff, like always, blew me away, though. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That shit looks so good, bro. Well, then again, you have to be a fan of Kingdom Hearts to, to, to be feeling like that, but I, my God. The Captain Jack, check out. I'm watching it right now, and it looks great, bro. Like, for me, I'm I dipped. Yeah, bro. Oh, you didn't even watch the Kingdom Hearts shit? Oh, you're insane. Oh, you don't, you don't play Kingdom Hearts, though. You, you yeah, wouldn't know. Like, this is just this is fun. I'm gone. Yeah, dude. Damn, you gotta play I some games. You gotta play some games. You know what I'm saying? You gotta play some games, bye bye. You missed out on some games, bro. So me and I even hyped over Final Fantasy. You probably wasn't even old enough to play Final Fantasy when it came out, so I can't even say that. That was Final Fantasy 7. 
fucking amazing. I had 15. Game, yeah, well, 15 was trash to me. <laughs> Anything but Whatever. 7 seven and 10X was the best Final Fantasy game ever made, bro. I played Final uh, Fantasy 15. Well, uh, not so-called played. I literally got, did the big, like, five minutes of it and then I did. Right. But. So my problem is you? I scared him. Where is he exactly? I can't even see him. Oh, I see him. Kill him? Yeah. If you want to be a douchebag, you know, scope they are. Where's that at? Oh, no. Are you in front of me? I already have a scope they are, but I've been ready to be a douchebag because I see that you have to be the, to win this game. I know y'all don't come to the channel, but it's cool, and y'all know we all fan. We ran Black Ops 3 together, these silly goats, so. Are you, are you ready? Are you happy? You played Black Ops 2 together already? Bro, no, that would be cool. <coughs> I don't know how they have the shop cars. Mm. If we could use those little rowboats in the water. Oh, yeah, that would be dope as hell. So we can get across the water easily. Yeah, they should do that, because that's just... Why are we going? Where are we going this way? Oh, oh, yeah, where are we going this way? Oh, you know you have Black... I didn't know you have Black Ops 3. Oh, Black, Black ones, you played Black Ops 3 with us before. For the whole, this whole like E3 shit, bro. Man, I'm so excited for E3. Chiral allergy. So, you have two like me. It's probably gonna be like rain. It's What's your level? Big, honestly, I've got the extinction factor. Yeah. But I think you got me beat. You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. Stupid. <laughs> Someone said it before. It was like it's very cute that that big company like Treyarch and. <laughs> And Nintendo and stuff like that allows Fortnite to dominate the, the industry or not. They allow them. This is something that just got in hang. I don't know if you were watching the game, but you got in hang the game with me. You made a good point. They're gonna allow Fortnite to do what they want, man. Yeah, they're giving them their fun. Yeah, yeah, for real, for real. As soon as Black Ops 4 and shit comes out. Shit's dead. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is like, this is a good franchise, but it's, it, it's not major. It's hyped up and crazy. It's not major. What's going on for me? Play? Yeah. Oh, we play this. If we had something else to play right now, I can't play it. Yeah. They told you I don't want to play this. They want to play this shit already, bro. Watch it anyway. That's, that's what we're trying to tell you, bro. Like, I don't know why you're doing this. You want to blow up like Nitro's speaking into existence today? I hear that, bro. Don't try to do it. 
Oh yeah, I love those that know rap and then. Oh, why am I seeing rap right now? But they're having a major build off South 195. Let's go. I um, know, bro. Like, I've been watching y'all pages, but y'all really both about to hit 400 at the same time. I got a launch pad. Launch pad. Does it only hold 20 shots? That's stupid. I shot somebody with that shot, I would've been crying. <coughs> oh, I thought I, I thought I had two circles, I don't know why I didn't get them. Let me get this one. Careful to the top of the mountain, guy. Oh yeah, fuck. People in the middle of the lake, I don't know why the fuck they're showing up here. Where you at? Oh, like... Yo, this mountain is shady. Watch yourself. Those things never stay on. I'm just trying to hold on. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Some poor bridges. Over there. What's your status? Aurelium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize Fine. I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a boy down. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Any of these challenges, let me see what I got to do here. 
They added yes. like light it's pretty reactors. Cool. You can use yellow, green, pink. To what? Like carbide. Colors. To the carbide? Oh, Different yeah. lights. Can you do a pop out? I'm not even sure if I'm going to be streaming after I'm done. Are you going to stream after I'm done? You still don't know who I am, probably do not you? Probably, oh, yeah. probably not Fortnite, bro. Probably not Fortnite, she's good. In the lights, you said, even the whole suit. He said, What the fuck, Keith? No. Definitely. I don't know where to go. You will go. Suck the toe. Hey. Let's go, uh, under. Oh, okay. A yonder yeet. Yonder yeet? Welcome to Yonder Heat, the home of the Yeasts. They began this. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Be sure to like it. This dude was talking, going off, ranting on this thing called Page. Ranting, bro, like, about how so many Samurai games have come up. It's garbage, huh? Using the thumbnail I gave you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything. You wanna know why I hate this game? You wanna know why I hate it? As soon as I touched the ground. As soon as I did. GG's. G fucking G's. Like your fish games. No thanks. PlayStation Conference, PlayStation Conference was a letdown, boy. Even the even the lady, the girl at the end was like weird, and the guy was like, yeah, very weird. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like, what the fuck was that? And then, then it was someone wanting to do a 15 minute show of dreams. I was like, are y'all high right now? Like, nobody gonna watch 15 minute performance of dreams. You fucks. Yuri, I thought you said it was secure. Watch your back, bro. It was. Watch your Let's back, go. bro. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. Look, hey, the steps, the but in my experience. Put it on your shoulder. When it looks bad, Less shoulder breaking it's something. usually worse. Look out! <laughs> that person was not. Yuri! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on! This is an assassin. <laughs> If anybody's here, don't forget to go and check on my other stream. <laughs> What's going on right now? You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the park! Might buy the other stream away. Oh, fight. those assassinations just to come and die to one guy. Looks like hey, you're friends. Bro, boys. You wanna join us? <laughs> you wanna die with him? Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you. Okay? Please? Hey, son. Look at Spider-Man trailer. I'm going to the Spider-Man gameplay right now, bro. Oh my god, Spidey, this boy. Damn. Yo, someone, someone was like, Arthur Knight meets the Scarlet Spider. I said, right? <laughs> this is so dope. That doesn't sound good. There's no better way to explain that. So, Centurion. Oh, hi, Rhino. Damn, I am the carbide. Spider. Oh, my god. What is he talking about? Going around. Yo, when I said yo, I think we nailed Trapped Spidey voices, bro. Spidey voices have done. I've done years. Rhino on point. Because when I heard Rhino last night, I was like, oh yeah, my Rhino sounds good. <laughs> I did fucking. This is my Electro was weird because I did the obsession with Electro. Can you hold on a minute? My Electro was like sexually frustrated with Spider Man. And then uh, Scorpion, I haven't voiced yet. Uh, I didn't even know how Gargan sounded until the last night. Who else did we do? Vulture and all the new Vulture. 
who else did we do? I did a little bit of Venom. I know we did the symbiote spider. We gotta get more, we gotta hear more voices. Oh my god, son. Like, I have two major superheroes in my entire life, bro. Spider-Man and Superman is two major superheroes in my life. Like, the fact that this video game is coming out, door of my Spider-Man series, make me feel so good, bro. Like, I think I'm doing something, right? I thought this was a It's called magic, my god. What you doing? It was in the vent. stop this guy. What? I broke the vending machine, it was in there. Yo, someone said the burger's gonna be the next update. They said that um, this guy named Timor was saying. Tell me who you're working for. I'll go easy on you. Can't stop it. What a plan! But what would the burger give you? Just life? More life than the apple? Give me up on that offer. I do like fish. They better do. They better do fifty like a fucking shield. Stop. And the fact that the bandit still does fucking what fifteen per? It's stupid. Like, you should have a burger and you can go pop 50 health. Like, why we can't pop a 50 health shit? And the chug chug just take way too fucking long. Okay, I got the security cameras back online. How's it look? Well, it looks like the entire population of the rabbit. Same thing. Don't you tell me what's going on, TJ? TJ, don't be such a chip. Both my streams are on like, both my streams right now, please. For a second there, I thought you were serious. How'd you enter? I'm not going to be here for two or four minutes. I have to go. Some of them are heading to the city. This is nuts. Hey, Jack, you want to go Electro even look cooler, like they never had they never had a real cool looking electro like this is the electro look cool. Keep chasing! Party's off! Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> when he jumped to them crates, yo, Spidey is a shit thing. Oh my god. I gotta go with Electro! Electro! Wait, what happened to that? It's so sick. Please just drop the ball, bro. Like, there's, there's no presentation for anything there, bro. Like, they, because they wanted to do How so like much, they missed they out on this shit. shit you yeah, that shit was dumb. Club. You got the battle pass? Yeah, that shit was dumb. Yeah. At the end, we were like, we got two more people here. And they, they're the ones that came out with the little scenes with the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the dream, because yeah, that's what I'm saying. They didn't want to do a 15 minute demo at the end or shit. You know, stupid. Remember, he said not to kill him. Good yeah. idea. That nigga In fact, we don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. We yeah, definitely want to. Dead anyway. I just spent 20 minutes in the stone cavern. I'm gonna win this sniper battle. Damn it. Yeah. Or not. Hey, look at the little shoe. Jesus Lord. It's my normal mode. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be my last one too. Okay, I got 22 seconds. 20 seconds. You? 20 minutes. Uh -huh, okay. Relax. Uh, Spidey, Spidey looks fucking amazing, bro. Spidey just looks intensely time. better than... Done that place because the Watch biggest video game event of the year is about. finally here, and four and four you're taking inside. Like this is E3 2018. I want to download Overwatch so I can stop IGN selling it. is coming to you live from Los Angeles for six days and almost cheap. 50 oh. hours of coverage. And you don't want to miss a second of the action. You'll see the explosive press conferences. Breaking news from the show floor. Yeah. Live hands-on demos of the yeah, hottest Yeah, I didn't want to go. Fuck her. Expert insight on all the new developments from the IGN team. If it's at E3, it's coming to us. Am I going shit again? Hello, old friend. 
But don't always shit me, baby. Last year, Nintendo made well, the up revolutionary out my switch, and, and okay. today they're back with a huge E3 presentation. Mm -hmm. so. You'll find out all of the big titles on the Switch this about. year, and the truth will finally be revealed yeah, about Super Smash too. Brothers. Oh my god, Nintendo is about to do this shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> Smash Brothers! See? Like, if yo, son, if this was Nintendo and what you call it, take it because they, they released, Nintendo and Xbox take it because they released fighters during their press conference. And that's what makes you win the fuck E3, bro. You release fucking fighters, you release shooters. What did PlayStation do last night? Welcome back to day four of IGN Live, the E3 2018. I'm David Hatfield. We are well into our epic journey here on IGN.com and Disney XD, but the best is still to come. From first looks to hands on demos, we've got it all. Be sure to join in the conversation on social by tweeting at IGN using the hashtag E3 2018 and weigh in on which game you think is the game of the show. We'll announce the winner this Thursday on IGN.com. And don't forget to download the IGN app for all the latest news. The events keep on rolling out. Up ahead, we're going to hit the Nintendo Direct and Treehouse Live. And later, we've got a special 50v50 Celebrity Pro-Am. But first, running. we thought we'd do you no, a solid running. and get I'm to speed on what's been going on with Nintendo. I'm going to die. Running. You're upstairs. Hi. Yep. No, I'm done. I'm done. I'm outside the door. They're coming. Three, two. All right. I'm out there. Yeah, I'm this is fucking ridiculous. Fun. People I'm gonna watch them die. I'm gonna watch them die. I'm gonna watch them fucking die. Skeptics swore the that DS is so due to die, obscurity bro. in the shadow of Sony's PSP that the motion controlled Wii was nothing more than a gimmick and that the 3DS was DOA with its initial lackluster Thank library. You. What about the game? This same okay. stigma hung over the <laughs> Nintendo Switch leading up to launch. But time and time again. Oh my god, the 3DS did they start this shit? No, 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 why don't ever scream like that idea? I gotta hear this thing because without sound is just. And the success of the hybrid wonder rests on three pillars. Okay, <laughs> okay. First of all, I have to mute one of these streams. I didn't know that was happening. With games like Skyrim, Wolfenstein, didn't, uh, didn't know and Mario and Rabbit Kingdom Battle. Oh, I wish I could go into my fucking computer. Wish this was being stupid as fuck. Please, computer. Next, it's got some of the coolest indie games in recent memory. We're looking at you, Celeste. And finally, Nintendo's bread and butter, the Switch's stellar first-party lineup. In its first year, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild became the second highest selling Mario Kart Deluxe, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker prove that it has a library now worth playing. And we bet Nintendo is going to capitalize on that during E3. But to be a real contender in the world of console gaming, the Nintendo Switch needs to be more than just a system for ports. It needs to prove it's the place for Nintendo titles new and old. And with a AAA lineup that includes Super Smash Bros., Metroid Prime 4, and both Pokemon Let's Go titles, it's on track to do just that. To help break down what we can expect from Nintendo today, let's welcome IGN's own Philip Mewson, Casey DeFridis, and Per Schneider. Lady and gentlemen, Hello. good morning. Hello. I don't know about you guys, but a Nintendo E3 presentation is pretty much the only thing that's going to get me out of bed at 6 in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Same here. <laughs> yes. So excited. I am so excited. The Nintendo is high here in the office. Don't let me down. Make this worth it. <laughs> uh, now, we can... We know with near absolute certainty, Nintendo's going to want to show us Smash Brothers. Absolutely. Yes, a lot of it. That's its big game this year. Uh, we haven't actually seen the game yet. So let's hold that for later on the show. Let's talk a little bit about uh, wh what else Nintendo might be bringing this year. Um, Casey. Yes. Pokemon. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> a, a couple Pokemon games have been announced for this yes. year. Coming so to Switch. You Pokemon, say the titles. Yeah, so Pokemon <laughs> Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee were announced just a few weeks ago with a really wonderful trailer. It made me tear up. <laughs> I am so excited for this game. And Nintendo was incredibly smart because they announced this game along with the core title that they teased last year. So right. we're getting this this year and a core Pokemon game next year. And honestly, I don't expect to see much about the 2019 title, but I do expect to see more about Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Hmm. Um, for example, uh, when Pokemon Sun and Moon were announced a few weeks before E3 that year, 
we saw a live gameplay demo during Treehouse. So I think we might get that with Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And Philip, you said that this is playable on the show floor. Yeah, yeah. So it is confirmed that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee will be playable on the show floor in some shape or form. We don't know how much of it will be playable and how much fans will get to experience, but at least we'll get a taste. I would love to try out the Pokeball Plus uh, yeah. because I saw it when I was in Japan. And they wouldn't let me touch yeah, it. Yeah. So what? I, yeah, they would not. They're like, no touch. Don't pick up the Pokeball. <laughs> it's like, ah. so I really hope I get to really to feel what it's like to have a Pokeball, Pokemon inside of a Pokeball. Is that confirmed that's to be here on the show, Philip? Do you know? Uh, I don't think it's confirmed, but I can't imagine that it wouldn't be on the show floor, at least behind glass. And they usually they usually have a glass case yeah. where they show Amiibo yeah. and, and any special toys mm -hmm. and things. I, I would expect it. Yeah. If they do give you one, just toss it out of the booth. I'll be outside. I'll catch it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm plan. Gone. What, it'll, what if plan. it captures you, though? Oh. yeah. You caught a wild pear. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little oh, too man. big. <laughs> it's super effective. Uh, what... So what else are you hoping to see for this game? Um, man, I... If, if they're going to show it I today... I want to see a gym battle. A gym battle, yes. I want to see yeah. what the gyms look like. Because in the old games, there are always some puzzles included in the gyms. Like, for example, like Lieutenant Surge's gym, you had to go around and look at trash cans and pick switches. So I want to see the gyms realized in this 3D manner, manner and then see if they're actually as challenging as they were in the core Pokemon games. I want to see what the challenge is. Right. And I really want to see how Pokemon will gain experience and level up here. <laughs> because that is one of the things that they did not really get into detail well, about. Well, the wild Pokemon battles are gone mm -hmm. from this game, right? They yes. will presumably be mm -hmm. in the, the 2019 game. But this yeah. one, you catch Pokemon like you catch them in Pokemon Go. Yes. There isn't a, a challenge to it, per se, mm -hmm. right? You That's still have still to... still a challenge. Like, they can still upgrade upgrade get away. They can I mean. still run away. Yeah. Um, but... They, because you're not fighting those wild Pokemon, which is how you get effort values, I'm sorry if I'm getting a little technical here, <laughs> um, I want to see how you will, will be able to customize and train your Pokemon. Like maybe they bring back super training. Who knows? And that 2019 game that they just talked about last year, yeah. <laughs> they couldn't even do a Battletoads or an Elder Scrolls Six and show us a logo. Uh, you don't expect to learn more about that today? I would love if they showed us the logo and okay. gave us the names, but I yeah. do not expect anything else. I think all of Nintendo's focus today is going to be on Smash mm. and some Pokemon and maybe a little Metroid, Well, right? Like <laughs> then speaking of logos, last year, <laughs> we got a logo. We got a logo yeah. for a Metroid Prime 4 uh, pair. Are we going to see more of that game today? Well, More you know, logo? given that it was a, a logo tease without any character animation or anything, I feel right. like this game probably probably still pretty early in development. I'm hoping for a trailer, even if it's a CG trailer or something that gives us more information about the setting or the style of game. Obviously, it is a first-person game like the Prime series before mm -hmm. it, so not a return to a side-scroller. Um, but I don't know, man. I think it's too early. I don't think we'll sh we'll see it playable. There's just not been any indication of that. Philip, what do you think? Yeah, I don't think we'll see it playable. Ho I'm really hoping for at least a gameplay trailer. Yeah. See, I want more than a cinematic trailer. I think we deserve <laughs> really? a gameplay trailer at this point. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's still rumored to be coming out in 2019. Um, you know, they haven't confirmed a, uh, an actual release date yet. So uh, right now, I think this E3 Nintendo really is doubling down on Smash and... 20 2018 Probably games, right? Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. 2018 games. Who is the rumored developer on Metroid? Was it like uh, oh, Bandai, it was Bandai Namco? Bandai Namco, yeah. 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 Oh. So it could be anyone. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, ba Bandai Namco is working on Smash and uh, yeah. other other games. Obviously, that's, uh, is that confirmed? Huh? Well, they, they worked on the last Smash. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The last one, not, not on yeah. the new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And what about this... Um, there's some sort of a Pikmin rumor I keep hearing yes. whispers about. Yes, well, there's a lot of rumors about a lot of really loved franchises uh, from Nintendo, but Pikmin is one that's very important to a lot of Nintendo fans out there. Um, and Miyamoto himself has gone on record and said uh, that the franchise is still very much alive and well, and they 
are working on one in some shape or form. Uh, as to when we'll see it, I have no idea. I'm hoping this is the E3 where they just blow us away and they surprise us and they say, hey, here's Pikmin 4 uh, for Switch. But uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm staying optimistic. I don't want to get my hopes too high for a new Pikmin this year. Or maybe a, a re-release, right? Like to tide <laughs> us over. Um, if, if we don't get a Pikmin in 2018, I don't know that they'll focus uh, on this, but maybe they've got a double pack coming or a triple yeah. pack or whatever. Um, where they maybe they'll play it on Treehouse Live afterwards. Yeah. We, we don't know yeah. what's going to happen. We, as we long did. as it's not a port of Hey Pikmin. I, I well, will that's what I'm saying. Right. I was about right. to say, we did get a Pikmin yes. game. Yes. Yeah. 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 We did the, get a Pikmin game last year. <laughs> that's so. a side scroller. Very different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not exactly the Pikmin we were looking for. It has uh, the IP. <laughs> but, uh, but speaking of rumors, there was that Star Fox rumor from, uh, I guess, a, a, two or three months ago about yep. a Star Fox racing game yep. from Retro Studios. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Honestly, oh, everything I've heard, it's all rumors. It's all speculative. Yeah. But it sounds like a game I didn't know I wanted, mm. but I want it now. <laughs> I, I, f I feel like we already got our Star Fox unveil at the Ubisoft say, yeah. conference. Star right? Fox is here at E3 yeah. in at least uh, in, in some form. Yeah, showing up in Starlink. Yeah. Yeah. Which, that game actually does look really I cool. Love that More reveal. I thought. Well, now that it has foxes in yeah. it. Uh, yeah, and obviously Ubisoft's building a ship too. Yeah. So Nintendo at one point was going to release an R-Wing Amiibo, canceled that, presumably be because it had too many sharp edges, like oh. you could poke your eye out with it. <laughs> and so now Ubisoft is doing a, a, a bigger model like that for an older player base. Um, but does that mean that we'll not get another Star Fox announcement? That, that's the big question here. Like, we haven't heard well, anything from Retro in a while. Yeah. Well, uh, they just did Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, right? The port of that. Yeah, but that, that was a port, right? Like, mm -hmm. Presumably you don't need the entire game and they should have been able to crank out something for this year's E3. But what's your call? Do you think it'll be here? Um, I really want it to be here. Uh, you know, the rumors are flying real high for this one. I personally think it will be at this E3 in some shape or form. I think we will see it. Um, but, you know, nothing obviously is for sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy that we at least did get Star Fox and Starlink. <laughs> and you can play the entirety of Starlink as Star Fox, which is really yeah. cool. Yep. And there's yeah. going to be extra Star Fox story content as well, right? That is true, yeah. It will have story content that's exclusive to Star Fox on Switch. All right, we're gonna, about to find out in just a few minutes. It is time for a quick break, but sit tight, because when we come back, Super Smash Brothers and just ahead, Nintendo Direct. you find IGN's awesome content anywhere else online, you'll find it right at home on IGN.com. With IGN First, you'll get a sneak peek at never-before-seen gameplay, exclusive insights from developers, and a whole lot more. NVC Live brings you IGN's Nintendo podcast up close and personal. Engage with other viewers, ask our NVC hosts your burning questions, and become a part of the show. Don't miss out. Find everything first on IGN.com. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? We're bringing the memes, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The IGN app is the best way to stay up to the minute on what you love. No matter what you play, create the custom feed and filter what you want to watch. Live streams have never been easier to find. With a floating video player on iOS, you can keep watching the live stream as you read other news. World premiere trailers and the biggest games. Download the IGN app from the iOS or Android stores now. Sign up for notifications and we'll alert you the second news breaks. Not only is IGN the world's biggest media brand for games and entertainment, but we also have a team of some of the world's biggest fans of your favorite franchises. From breaking news and exclusives, never before seen looks at movies and games, to reviews, let's plays, and live streams, IGN brings you all the coverage you need no matter where you are. Whether you're on IGN.com, the IGN app, YouTube, Facebook, or Snapchat, we've always got you covered. IGN, the number one source for all games and entertainment fans worldwide.
Welcome back to IGN Live at E3 2018, your home for all the biggest games and announcements. Games like Super Smash Brothers. Super Smash Brothers. So the last time we saw Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo Switch was actually during Nintendo's March Direct which was a surprise to everybody because we initially saw Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl running around trying to splat each other, and then all of a sudden, the Smash symbol shows up in Inkling Girl's eye, and the entire world just went crazy for Smash. I mean, it was evident that we're finally getting Super Smash Brothers for Switch, and it's just an amazing time to be a Nintendo fan and have something like that coming with such a big surprise. So it's definitely going to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And we know for sure that it's going to be at E3 because Nintendo is hosting a Super Smash Bros. Invitational that's going to feature pro players as well as casual players completely just duking it out live on the E3 stage. And I wouldn't even be surprised either if Nintendo did what they did last year with Mario Odyssey and go all out and decorate their entire E3 booth with Smash characters. Super Smash Brothers is coming up on its 20 year anniversary, and that's incredibly exciting for fans that have been fans of the series for all that time. And to have an amalgamation of Nintendo characters all coming together to duke it out, and finally having that experience on Switch, which is a hybrid console that you can take with you on the go, or you can play it at home, on the TV, on a big screen, is just something that we haven't seen before. So it's incredibly, incredibly cool that we're going to have something like that that we can take with us wherever we are and get even more competitive with our friends. Philip, thank you for that rundown on everything Super Smash Brothers here at oh, E3. Yeah, absolutely. We don't even need to be here yeah. anymore. How did you get... I think you pretty much covered everything. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, all right, we're about to get uh, the big reveal for Super Smash Brothers on Switch. Uh, first of all, any guesses on what the title is? It's Super Smash <laughs> Brothers for Switch. I mean, I was on for you, right? Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's something. It's not gonna have a, a brawl or a melee or rumble. Maybe we'll get a number. Maybe it'll be yeah. Super Smash I, Brothers Five. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't think so. It'll have a it'll have a name. No, I, think it'll have I a name? hope it has a name because differentiating from the Wii U version, I it was I just called it Smash yeah. for the Wii U. Yeah. So I hope we have a name because like we say melee brawl sixty four like yeah. we can tell what we're talking about without having to say the console name. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, I hope if it's, I, I mean, if there's some sort of core gameplay element where you switch characters and it's called Switch, then I'm happy with it. But yeah. I, I hate titles that are just the platform. You know, like, yeah. I, I covered Nintendo in the N64 days where everything, everything. was 64. <laughs> yeah. And we never got any 65s. Oh. Very sad. A big question uh, for me on this game is whether or not it's a port of the Wii U game or an all-new Smash game. So they, I mean... Like, they, like they, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe style. They, right, right. They... They carefully said that it is a new game, right? Mm -hmm. Like the there, it's it's not going to be a re-release of the title. So I would expect some some big changes. Mm -hmm. You know, certainly visually on the Switch. The last game was split on uh, you know 3DS, uh, obviously, and Wii U. So um, it's it's new. But when is Smash Brothers ever truly new? You get yeah. all these returning yeah. characters that people want to keep on playing. They yeah. want to see the old stages, so it'll feel new and old, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think we'll see a lot of new like modes, new um, possibly new characters, new levels. Um, but I think we'll also see a lot of like fan favorite modes and mm -hmm. you know characters and levels returning as well. So such as, um, I mean, obviously the core uh, six characters like you know Mario, Luigi, Link, obvi are Givens, the originals, you know? yeah, the, the original sixty four roster. Yes, the original sixty. For uh, roster, but um, ice climbers, man, come on! So many people yeah, have said we exactly. want ice climbers back, and the excuse last time was it was hard to make it work technically, which is not going to fly. That's gone now. Around. No, bring them back. Yeah. yeah, bring them back, so I don't have to play them, but you guys can. Yeah, exactly. So um, I'm also guessing that we'll get some sort of like a Splatoon stage for the Splatoon character. Yeah, yes. we're getting Inklings, right? Yeah, exactly. So definitely an like Odyssey that. stage. Of course, and Breath of the so. Wild yeah. happened since then. You know, that's yeah. one of the things we're talking about. So. These are characters that people have been playing for years. Will they bring a Breath of the Wild Link with a new move set, and will that make people mad? <laughs> I, think, I don't think they'll change Link as yeah. a move set, but yeah. I, they have to have the costume. Yeah, right? yeah, the costume's right? got to be in there. Yeah, it's yeah. so iconic. And Smash Brothers is just, there's so many different color variations, mm -hmm. costumes, alts, and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's a no-brainer for me. Yeah. They did get really... They've gotten really creative yep. with that, in, especially in the last Smash. Like, some of those costumes are really cool. Like, Dark Link is yes. awesome. Mm -hmm. So, alternate costumes, I want to see. For sure. I want a new Donk City level. That'd yeah, be nice, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want the music, the whole song. Yeah. And, yeah, the yeah, dancing the in the background. That would work real well. 
Yeah. yeah. What about any other, uh, what other like new guest characters would you guys like to see? So that's a big one, right? Like, like Sonic or Snake. Like yeah, they have Pac-Man. Kind of. Pac Classic Man. ones coming back. Obviously, we would all yeah. love to see Sonic and Snake back mm -hmm. in the game. Um, my my top pick is Midnight. I always want to see Midnight yeah. in this game, not just as an assist or anything. And then, uh, you know, lots of people have been asking for uh, for Waluigi. Yeah, you this, know? this has to be uh, the Smash where they bring Waluigi into it. I mean, the, he's so loved, I, especially in, in <laughs> the last year on yeah. the internet. Especially, Waluigi has just had this sort of resurgence in fan in fan favor. Wonder why? So. And then, yeah. and then like, Nintendo ran a bunch of polls too, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what characters people want to see? Gino is always in there. Ridley is always in there, so we'll yeah. see which ones they pick. But I also think that what we'll see during the reveal will not be the full character set. I think over time they will mm -hmm. add DLC because mm -hmm. if they've learned anything <coughs> from Overwatch and Fortnite is like keep the discussion going, keep the game fresh and update it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of like DLC and online plans, uh, do you think the launch of Smash on Switch is going to be timed with the uh, the launch of its online service? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. I think it's going to be a day and day launch. Know is it's September. Is there a specific date for that service or um, just September? I don't believe we have a specific date okay. yet. Yeah, but I do think that Smash will launch day and day with the online service. I mean, it has to be, especially because Nintendo's pushing such a big competitive angle mm -hmm. with this Smash. Mm -hmm. Are they? Yeah, they are, absolutely. Oh, I guess they are having that invitation. I mean, this, yeah. Do you Ev think they'll add tournaments back in? <laughs> oh, I, I, I definitely think so, yeah. Every publisher wants their shot at a big esports title, right? To break yeah. into the top four of, of esports games that are being being played around the world. And uh, Nintendo's closest one is definitely Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't see any people, like, watching Mario Tennis for hours on end, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good game online, but, like, Smash Brothers is the one that people love at tournaments like Evo and... Right. Uh, I, I think they're they're doubling down on that for yeah. sure with spectating tournaments and all that. Well, I mean, Melee has definitely been the preferred Smash mm -hmm. for competitive players. Yep. So, do you think this game will go back towards Melee style play, like faster, heavier? If they're going in for this competitive I mean, sense, yeah, it could go either way. Uh, obviously, Melee is still huge within mm -hmm. the competitive competitive community. It's still played at Evo um, and most fighting game competitions. Yeah. Um, but I definitely think they're gonna try something new with this Smash. I don't think they're gonna try and replicate exactly what they no. did with mm -hmm. Melee. Sakurai is, is he's not that kind of person yeah. to listen to the fans and exactly yeah. give them what they want. Right. So, right. Uh, it's like, you know. no, you're wrong. No, he's like, nope. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tweak this uh, however I see. Best. That, yes. Yes. This game. So we're sure to get a release date, and you think that'll be in September? Yes. All right. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, earlier, earlier launch for Nintendo's big. Well, I guess they also have uh, the Pokemon games yeah, coming. Yeah, Pokemon in, on November, November 16th. Yeah. That's, a, that's and five, a huge quarter for them. Yeah. I mean, it is. Smash Brothers is one of the top sellers. Mario Kart is, you know, tops Wii Sports in the past. Smash Brothers was always up there. That's huge. And then Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon know, is a console seller. Humongous, humongous seller. Yeah, and Fire Emblem still has to come out at some point this year as well. Oh, yeah, um, that's whoa, right. Whoa, whoa, Fire Emblem Wait, has to year? come out this year? It has to come what, out. What if it doesn't? Well, it, you know, it might not. Not. Okay. <laughs> a lot might make a lot of people sad out there. Um, we have like, like pair. I, I mean, I'm a huge yeah. Fire Emblem yeah. fan. We have not seen any gameplay of that yeah. either. We don't know if it's a traditional, traditional Fire Emblem experience yeah. on Switch. Yeah. Uh, we have gotten console Fire Emblems before, at least on GameCube. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's been a little yeah, while. We haven't even mentioned Animal Crossing. Are we going to get Crossing. an Animal Crossing? Yeah. I feel like yeah. they're priming us with that mobile game earlier. Right. So yeah. are they going to? There. I mean, there, there could be. Uh, Nintendo has such a big stable of franchises, right? Mm -hmm. People ask for F-Zero and Wave Race and Pikmin mm -hmm. and yeah. Mario Party and, you know, like all these games. We all want everything all the time. I, I feel like, <laughs> though, so I, I feel like Nintendo conferences at E3 are like Star Trek movies. Like every other year you get a stellar one that freaks everybody out, everybody's super happy, and then you get the kind of like, it's still fun, but it's not exactly what you wanted. And it felt like last year they were giving us what we wanted. Yeah. You know, yeah. Metroid announcement, Mario and all that. So, I, I don't think we'll see them roll out trailer mm. after trailer of these new unannounced yeah. games. Mm. Just going to be focused on Smash. Smash is, I mean, yeah. that is their big focus yes. for 2018. E3 is usually focused on the year for them. Mm -hmm. So is, I, I agree. Is the boost going to be all Smash? So I tried to peek, but you can't see it. Yeah, it's still also, if we talked about it, we'd be shot. That's true. <laughs> that's true, yeah. You mentioned Mario Party, though. They do have a new Mario Party coming out, right? Like That's the collection game? Uh, that already come out. No, there was one that recently came out on 3DS. 3DS, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's out. We haven't heard anything about a new Mario Party in a while, but 
uh, online play, you know, yeah. launching an online network, there is going to be Mario Party for sure. If they do have another Mario Party, I want it to go back in the style of the GameCube and Wii and 64 games and not the Wii U game. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to hitch a ride with other people in a, in a car? You, you I, want to be in your I want to fight control. and be mad and not be contained in the exactly. same vehicle as everyone. It seems reasonable. You, the yeah. true heart of Mario Party. Uh, another rumor heading into E3 is that Fortnite is coming to Switch. Uh-huh. Not, not a very well-kept secret, I don't no, think. No, I, I feel like at this point, it's like, should like we still call it a rumor? Con- yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is nice. I don't think Fortnite on Switch is going to sell consoles because kids can play Fortnite on their phones. But it's- it will be nice for Fortnite because people who don't have the other consoles will now have the ability to play it. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And especially for Nintendo fans, um, you know, this might be their first exposure to Fortnite. So, mm-hmm. um, you know, it might be a good time to actually, you know, have it arrive on Switch and introduce an entire new community to one of the biggest games in the world right now. So. Yeah, and, and Fortnite was a massive success on mobile, right? Like, we used to only look at Apple's top 10 on iOS and, and see the same games, you know, the same Clash and uh, Candy Crush over and over until Fortnite ha- and PUBG happened. Yeah. Right. All right. It's time for a quick break, but when we come back, it is the biggest Nintendo Direct of the year, followed by Treehouse Live, and later, a look at Spider-Man. The IGN app is the best way to stay up to the minute on what you love. No matter what you play, create the custom feed and filter what you want to watch. Live streams have never been easier to find. With the floating video player on iOS, you can keep watching the live stream as you read other news. World premiere trailers and the biggest games. Download the IGN app from the iOS or Android stores now. Sign up for notifications and we'll alert you the second news breaks. Not only is IGN the world's biggest media brand for games and entertainment, but we also have a team of some of the world's biggest fans of your favorite franchises. From breaking news and exclusives, never before seen looks at movies and games, to reviews, let's plays, and live streams, IGN brings you all the coverage you need no matter where you are. Whether you're on IGN.com, the IGN app, YouTube, Facebook, or Snapchat, we've always got you covered. IGN, the number one source for all games and entertainment fans worldwide. If you're not following IGN on social media, what are you waiting for? (laughs) We're bringing the memes, gameplay, custom original content, the best user-generated videos and art, (laughs) and a whole lot more. Be part of the conversation throughout the year. Follow IGN on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Before you find IGN's awesome content anywhere else online, you'll find it right at home on IGN.com. With IGN First, you'll get a sneak peek at never-before-seen gameplay, exclusive insights from developers, and a whole lot more. NVC Live brings you IGN's Nintendo podcast up close and personal. Engage with other viewers, ask our NVC hosts your burning questions, and become a part of the show. Don't miss out. Find everything first on IGN.com. Welcome back, everybody. We're just about a minute away from the Nintendo E3 briefing. As soon as it begins, we'll kick you over there. Make sure you stay tuned afterwards for all our post-show coverage. But one game we haven't mentioned yet is Bayonetta 3. Yes. Yeah, you cosplayed as Bayonetta today. Yeah, so every day. Yeah. Yeah. That's just <laughs> yeah. how I do. Life play. <laughs> Are we going to uh, see it? I don't think so. No? I know they announced it last year, but I think that we've all come into agree- agreeance that they're going to focus on Smash. Yeah. Like... And we got one and two fairly recently, so maybe yes. they want to let that sit a little bit. Yeah, it's been announced. It's been a little bit. Yeah, it's still cooking. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking <laughs> sometime next year, maybe next E3, we'll get like a full demonstration, you know, full gameplay and all well, that stuff. Well, the Nintendo Direct is starting right now. Everybody enjoy the show. We'll see you guys afterwards.
新暦3564年第107代アーケディア法王ラダリアは軍事大国シアへと遠征軍を派兵一夜にしてその首都ホメロパは陥落しアルス諸とも雲海の底深くへと沈んでいったその影にはたった一人のプレイと天の聖杯滅の存在があった次のターゲットはイーラに決めたなぜ世界を破壊する気づいてるんじゃないか破壊したがってるのは人間だと僕が本国から受けた使命は天の聖杯滅の討伐だどうだろう僕らにその力貸してもらえないだろうかひょっとして怒ってる滅の討伐のこと国民を守るための戦いに身を置けるなら本望だ君に頼みたいことはただ一つあの滅を葬り去ってもらうことなのだから一体何の目的で別に退屈しのぎだよただのふざけてるのこれが天の聖杯同士の激突お前いい目をしてるな俺の行く道はこの道だ交わることはないこの Switch Or on a journey through verdant fields and viridian cities in a timeless quest to catch them all. Weeks ago, we showed you Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, a brand new Pokemon adventure through the vibrant Kanto region where your partner, Pikachu or Eevee, is always by your side. Add the transformative power of Nintendo Switch, and you can play as you like, anywhere you like, or for the first time in this series, catch or battle Pokemon on one system with a friend. You can even transfer a Pokemon into the game from Pokemon Go. This is a Pokeball Plus. You can use it like a Joy Con controller with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, or play the entire game with it alone. You can put a Pokemon into the Pokeball Plus, then bring it with you. Sounds like there's already one inside. It's the mythical Pokemon Mew. Mew comes exclusive with every Pokeball Plus and can join you on your journey through the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, and the Pokeball Plus will be available on November 16th. Discover new friends and challenges as you explore this mysterious and enchanting world. Wherever you go, with whoever you like, only on Nintendo Switch. Now, let's check out something else we can't wait to show you. Okay, you ready for this? All right. He's desperate. Don't even think about it. <laughs> All or nothing. Yes! <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, 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 what's up? Hey, what are you doing? Let's play. Okay. We gotta change it up, though. That's gonna go too fast. Let's do it this way. We need to have, like, some angles. Okay. That looks cool. Ready? Do it. Oh, game on. Okay. Oh, really? Come on. Oh, no. Are you done? Are you done? All right, let's do another one. 
Are you guys ready to do this? Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wow. One more. <laughs> one more. We should do one more. Rematch. <laughs> oh. What was that? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 yeah. Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess, a gift to help guide the lost. Now, the goddess watches over Fodlan from her kingdom above as the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Measure your worth as an instructor. Such a brutal, irrational world we live in. Some believe the crests, tokens of the goddess's power, are necessary to maintain order. But they're wrong, teacher. The crests are to blame. to our ruin. So take your first step. It's now or never! I will return here someday, my teacher. Promise me that you won't forget me. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete Battle Royale experience, whether playing together online with friends in the same room or around the world. Available at 10 a.m. Pacific time today. Nintendo Switch, a home console where you can access a full range of games content, including a wealth of groundbreaking games from our independent development community. Your support for indie games on Nintendo Switch has been inspiring. And to all of you, as well as all of the developers behind these rich and varied experiences, from all of us here at Nintendo, thank you. Let's pull back the curtain on a few more, including two we're showing for the first time here today. Aspiring chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cutting boards in Overcooked 2, a sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, 
kitchens, and white-knuckle mayhem. Prepare for the ultimate cook-off with new features like the ability to throw ingredients, kitchens that can change on the fly, and with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Save the world from clumsy cooking when Team 17's frantic food juggler arrives on August 7th. Hop on a snail, hoard berries, or wipe out the enemy's queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesigned from the ground up, Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games' acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer phenomenon is coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. And finally, venture through the mysterious subterranean landscapes of a vast, forgotten kingdom in Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight an action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch, and I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, is available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. These are just a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live, streaming right from the E3 show floor, where our Nintendo game experts will give you a closer look at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018, the action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler from Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on July 13th. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Now, Let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences coming soon to Nintendo Switch. Hi everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. 
Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world, and we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's coming next on Nintendo Switch. Now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. Many fighters have appeared in this series. I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please take a look.
That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario's still easy to use, but we did add a little something for someone from his latest adventure. He can also wear his wedding and builder outfits. Link dons his champion's tunic from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated and his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Although it's been a while, the two-in-one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. We now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, and his Final Smash has received an overhaul. This time, final smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. Valko's final smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves, like Samus's charge shot, can now power up in midair. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Marth's dancing blade is faster, and it's easier to unleash one after another. This holds true for Roy and Lucina, too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced in English. Keep your eyes open! Backed by popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow Moses Island is back too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damaged itself too, so be careful. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. Looping her on the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. 
You can change Pokemon during battle, and this time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. And of course, his hazardous big blue stage is making a return. Just like before, you can play as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, you can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different villagers. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three links for the first time. Lon Lon Milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Kirby is his usual puffy self, but we've added a little something to his stone ability. He has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado arts, but now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change arts on fly. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Ganondorf rises again, returning to his popular design from The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Ganon. Me Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types, Brawler, Sword Fighter, and Gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this fighter ready for online play. Smash has three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus's final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. When Olimar gets damaged, you'll see a crack in his helmet. But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely and you'll hear differences in the sound effects. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid-fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. Little Max Final Smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Mac. In fact, all Final Smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new Final Smash calls him Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. 
At first glance, we fit trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the WeFit developers. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto Man and Bass. Palutena's special attacks have been streamlined this time around. And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. I hope you're looking forward to some serious matchups. And here's a new fighter. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash, killer whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. And each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. By the way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen. While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. You can KO assist trophies by inflicting damage, and now you get points for it too. However, some assist trophies will remain unbeatable. Maybe an unexpected guest will photobomb your battle. Yep, it's him! There's a wide variety, more than 50 of them appear in the game. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokémon and items. We can't wait to show you. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Let's get a look at some stages from various games.
All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega forms too. These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and background from your favorite series. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional air dodge enhances mobility. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This should help ensure that the action is well-paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something, or no victory pose for you. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Nintendo GameCube controllers can be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, all fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look.
Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live from the Center and E3. Minasan o h a y o g o z a i m a s Los Angeles no E3 Kaijo no Nintendo Treehouse Live no Haishin e Yoko so. I'd like to say thank you to everyone around the world for tuning in to our Nintendo Direct as well as our fans in Japan. Zen Sagai no Minasan ga Nintendo Direct o Miti de Taite. So she took me Nihon no Kyakusan mo Miti de Taite. Domo, Arigato g o z a i m a s I am Bill Trinan. I am here with Nate Bildorf and Eric Smith from the Treehouse. Mogwa Treehouse no Bill Torinan to Nate Bildorf san to Eric Smith san. Uh, we have a very special guest for you this morning. We just saw a new character announced. Nate, why don't you tell us who we have and what we're going to see? <laughs> yeah, a new character was announced, but today we have a special guest who has been told to us. Nate, please give us a new character. Yeah, I know that was a, a, probably a lot of Smash to digest、uh, for those of you viewing at home.、Um, Mr. Sakurai on video explained quite a bit to us,、um, but we are very fortunate to have a live Mr. Sakurai here with us with his translator Raymond e l g e t Sakurai さんがスマブラの細々な話をいろいろしましたけれども、今朝はあのまあ運が良くて、本人が登壇していただいて、えー、と通夜、レイモンさんも一緒に来てます。Well, I want to、uh, jump into、um, some more specific details, but before we start, does Mr. Sakurai have anything he wants to say just in general about the game's development? ファイターたちの技とかをいろいろ説明していただきましたけれども、はい、リドリーはほんの少しだけ見られましたので、えー、と今朝は実演プレーでリドリーを紹介していただけないそうですねじゃあ直接触ってやりますね。All right. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and、uh, give you guys a tour. Where would you like to fight? So、uh, I'm just going to do an explanation, so let's just go to Final Destination. All right. And this Final Destination is actually a special version of Final Destination that is、uh, going to be slightly different from the version that's in the full game, correct? So this. Now, the destination is a little bit different from the full game, correct? So this. Now, the destination is a little bit different from the full game, correct? So this. Now, the destination is a little bit different from the full game, correct? So this. Now, the destination is a little bit different from the full game, correct? So this. Now, the destination is a little bit d i f f e r e n リドリーは、えー、ご存知の通りいや知らない方もおられるかもしれませんが、えー、メトロイドシリーズの、えー、サムスの宿敵ですね。Uh, And comparatively, he's actually very, very tall. He's about four meters tall. So, the type of 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 type He's、uh, very much on the cruel side. Adventure Mode, Samus, Cabin, Cosrit, Ketari, Stimasaga. 
and in uh, Brawl he uh, made an appearance as a boss and he would do moves like uh, grabbing Samus and just uh, uh, dragging her across the wall. And now he drags other fighters along the floor. え、と、投げの途中でジャンプをしたりとか、え、特殊な挙動を取ることもできます。あ、you and charging it up, you can uh, throw multiple fireballs. And just like the original game, his uh, weak point is actually when he's charging up the fireball in his mouth. So just from that one hit, he took about 20, it's about 26% of damage right now, but he take big damage. And his up special is uh, this what you just saw right here. And you can go in any four directions you'd like. And you can actually set it to diagonally down or forward or uh, diagonally down backward and the angle is a little bit different for each. And he also has a down special that you just saw and this has a, a very unique uh, attribute. Uh, please take a close look at Mario's uh, damage percentage. <笑>これ、このワザにはスイートスポットがあって、え、そこに直撃するとえ、大ダメージを与えることができます。そうじゃないところではもうすごい傘当たりをするんですね。So <笑> これはあの、やっぱり、寄り対戦の時の方が当たりやすいと思います。And I think, uh, relatively speaking, I think it's easier to hit that sweet spot when you're doing a four-player match. ということで、え、リドリの説明は以上です。Alright, and I think that wraps up, uh, Ridley's moveset. Well, I'd, I'd like to stop just getting beaten up here for a second, so I was kind of hoping that next maybe we could actually play a match and see what it looks like in action. How do you guys feel about that? まあ、デコボコにされることはちょっとあの、やみしたいと思ってますけれども、あの、せっかくですので、えっと、ネットさんとエリックさんが、あの、2人で対戦してもらいましょう。<笑> はい。さあ、すごい。あの、ゲームがスタートしてみんなバッ。オッケー。もう終わり。デコボコにならないかどうかわからないんですけれども。じゃあ、とりあえずサムスとリドリーですね。少し解説を交えながらお話をしたいと
<笑>なんかあのネイトさんって容赦ないですよね。ネイトはノーマーシーです。新キャラに対してね。Special for against the new fighter. おっと